tricky one, but I promise it'll help. The first thing that you're thinking to yourself as you see this, what the heck is Chris trying to draw? Well, uh, I'm, I will be the first to admit I am not an artist, but I promise that everything happens for a reason. Imagine you're looking in the, la in the lab practical. You see the donor, and you're on the pa patient's uh, back right shoulder. You may notice that there's the triangular space, the quadrangular space, and your triangular integral. So in order to participate, to kind of help visualize, I want you to take your left hand and your right hand and make two peace signs. And now take your left hand and then tilt it approximately 90 degrees so that way it's facing the way that these guys are. And place your middle finger of your left hand on top and your pointer finger underneath. If it looks like this drawing, then you have it down. If not, you can always stop me in the hallway and help me to ex uh, allow me to explain how to set this up. In this, you can imagine that your index finger of your right hand is the long head of the triceps muscle and the middle finger is the lateral head of the triceps muscle for your right hand. Now with your left hand, imagine the middle finger is Terry's minor and your index finger is Terry's major. These make up your triangular space, quadrangular space, and triangular interval. Now this may also help out with lecture exams in addition to lab tags. So, now that we are on the donor's right posterior arm, let's go through the triangular space. This is definitely the easiest one because there's only one thing in there, and that's your scapular circumflex artery. So if you see something in the triangular space that's between Terry's minor over major, which is a big thing that will be throughout the entire uh, lab, is that minor over major, the only thing that can be in there is your scapular circumflex artery. Next, we move on to quadrangular space. You may notice that with your right hand, you have formed a V in the quadrangular space and triangular interval, which also has a V in it, you will find nerves. Nerves being that you have a V. You may notice that not only did I highlight them with the red to kind of make this more obvious, I have also emboldened the V here and the V here. So now that we're moved on to from the triangular space, we now have the quadrangular space. Quad meaning that there's four sides. Quadrangular space will have your axillary nerve and your posterior humeral circumflex artery. These are two important structures as far as discerning nerve from artery. Just ask yourself, where is it coming from? Does it look like a nerve? Does it look like an artery? But it can only be one of those two things back here. And finally, the triangular interval. You have the radial nerve V in the interval, and you have the deep brachial artery or profunda brachii. Once again, guys, I hope this helps. As far as setting it up on the other arm, all you got to do is just flip it around. The big thing to know is that minor, whatever finger you're using for minor, that goes on top, and your major will go underneath. I hope you find this helpful. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime.